Mohaya Danini, you surely reign in heavenly place. My Lord, you are Mohaya Danini, you are high to be praised. Oh, Mohaya, Mohaya, Mohaya. Mohaya, 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 Alleluia, Mohaya, 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 Oh, my Lord, you are Mohaya, Danini. You surely reign in heavenly place. Oh, my Lord, you are more higher than any other gods. You are high to be praised. My Lord, you are more higher than any. You surely reign. In heavenly place, oh my Lord, you are more higher than any other gods. You are high to be praised, oh my Lord, you are more higher than any. You surely reign. In heavenly place, my Lord, you are more higher than any other gods. You are high to be praised. Oh, more higher, more higher, more higher, more higher, more higher, more higher. Mohaya, 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 unto Jesus, Mohaya, 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 Hallelujah, Mohaya, 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 Hallelujah, Mohaya, Mohaya, Mohaya. Oh, my Lord, you are more higher than any. You surely reign in heavenly place. Oh, my Lord, you are more higher than any other gods. You are high to be praised. My Lord, you are more higher than any. Oh, you surely reign in heavenly place. Oh, my Lord, you are more higher than any other gods. You are high to be praised. Oh, more higher. Mohaya, 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 Alleluia, Mohaya, 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 Ara Mohaya, 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 Singhaya, Mohaya, Mohaya. Mohaya, 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 Mohaya. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we worship you, we give you glory, praise. You are awesome, there is none like you. We lift you high above because you are God and there is none like unto you. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor and adoration. 
Le kama suti bara kambo soto para bali para kanda suti Maria kasuta. Jeli kara lo do brosti brika da kanda shuti Maria do kama haidos. Le kei da saita kuara hande kira suta ila adus. Re kadi da saita kalidori abra kodo hongo supare atrobo santa. Father reign supreme. We lift you high above. We exalt and adore your holy name. We thank you, Lord. Father, we pray and we lift our spirit that are connected in tonight's prayer into your hands. Let there be the he- open heavens over their homes, their lives individually. Let breakthrough come to them in the name of Jesus. Father, meet every need. Maraka tu sari kataida suria. We break every power of darkness, anything that is contending with your people. We defeat them and bring their works to naught. In the name of Jesus, we activate your promises to manifest in their lives in Jesus' name. Father, we pray. Let your presence take us through this hour as we connect ourselves together to pray. We give you glory and praise. We thank you for your presence. We declare the heavens open over this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus, we activate ministering angels to minister to your people, bringing healing, breakthroughs unto your people in the mighty name of jesus let needs be met minister to the hearts of your people today empower and strengthen your people this day in jesus mighty name hallelujah oh hallelujah you are to be praised hallelujah i take the opportunity to welcome as many that are connected with us this evening to the Breakthrough Prayer Conference. You are all welcome. Thank you so much. God bless you for being part of this prayer program. We want to encourage you wherever you are. Invite your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors, um, uh, people that are around you to join as we pray because the Bible says that uh, one which is a thousand and two which is ten thousand. We say where two or three are gathered together in his name. He says he's the right in the midst of them. And whatever they shall agree and ask, it shall be done. So we see the power uh, in prayer of agreement and in unity. And God's word says that that's where he commands his blessing. Therefore, I want you to invite your loved ones, share this program. Hallelujah. And then let somebody be blessed. I also want to I encourage you, you can share this program on your page, on your, um, what do you call it, um, groups. Anywhere that at least you can let somebody also enjoy this time of prayer. I want you to do it. Today we want to share uh, something common but still important unto us and uh, how the enemy also uses the same thing that God uses to bless us, but the enemy also uses it uh, another way to torment people, depress people, destroy people. The Bible says that the enemy came to steal, kill, and to destroy. But the Lord Jesus said that he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Today we want to talk about the music portals. Music portal. Music is very, very important in the life of man. And uh, we see the role that music does or play in our worship when we come to the house of the Lord or to bless the name of the Lord. We see that music has so much to do in there. The same thing we know that Satan is also somebody who imitates because he said that he wants to exalt his throne and be like the most high. So whatever God does, he also make a copyright. And that's the opposite. But his own is to destroy. That is where we have to be able to make a look at the differences between and then be able to... Um, uh, what do you call it? adjust ourselves and make sure we are connected to the right source or to the right music or to the right atmosphere so that uh, we'll be able to receive the blessings of God. Hallelujah. So we are talking about music portals because uh, music normally opens the, uh, what do you call portal or uh, gates between the physical and the spiritual realm. And that is what many people have not come to understand. It has something to do in that way, and at the same time, it has something to do with us as human beings, because when it enters us, it can manipulate us. It can manipulate the soul. So this is where we have to see that music is very powerful and is very, very important. 
and we see that um, people who have not understood take things very light. I remember some years back, it happened that the, 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 the body of Christ came to a high level spiritually to the extent that uh, in the music industry, we saw that gospel music took the preeminence or took the high place. So the unbelievers who didn't, who saw that they were losing market and other things, also started playing gospel music. They were using scriptures in the Bible to play music. Their main aim is to make money out of it. And people have to buy it because they heard some few scriptures being mentioned in the songs and other things. But as time began to move on, the enemy saw that um, if he doesn't um, do something about it, he will be defeated. So he also tried to find another means, using his agent to play some music that uh, he using these scriptures and other things to draw uh, the, what do you call the believers to accept songs that are even not gospel. That is why a time came that when you are listening to a song, you have to listen to a song that is anointed, not only because it's a song that has scriptures, so you have to follow it. Well, many people don't know the effect of songs. That's why we have worldly songs and we have gospel songs. So music is very, very, very important. Music is very, very important. And uh, we want to look through it tonight, and then we pray areas that we need prayer. Hallelujah. Many people have been affected, but they don't know that the source could be the music, the things that they are hearing in their home. And that is what we want to deal with. We are praying that God will intervene on our side so that we'll be able to come to a place where we'll be uh, we'll connect to the right source and the right music. We we'll look at our youth today. The enemy has been able to use some kind of means to draw them to a, a, a level that they really accept any kind of music as a form of entertainment. And wherever they go, you see them playing this um, worldly music, even in Christian gatherings and other things. And uh, it is so sad to uh, come to a, a place and uh, see such a thing happening. And I want us to know that any kind of music we play carry a kind of atmosphere, either the atmosphere of God or the atmosphere of the devil. And so when we don't know the difference and we put them together, we can put ourselves in danger. Hallelujah. So today I want us to take our scripture from 2 Kings chapter 3, 10 to 20. That is 10 verses that I want us to read to get a picture of something about uh, the music. Hallelujah. It says, And the king of Israel said, Alas, that the Lord had called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. But Jehoshaphat said, is there not a, here a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the kings, uh, king of Israel's servants, answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king uh, of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Get thee to the prophet of thy father and to the prophet of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord had called these three kings together to deliver them to the hand of Moab. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would not have looked towards thee, nor see thee. 15. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass, when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, Thus says the Lord, make this valley full of dishes, ditches. For thou says the Lord, ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink both ye and your cattle and your beasts. 
and this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabite also into your hands. And ye shall smite every fair city and every choice city, and shall fell every good tree, and stop all the wells of the water, and mar every good piece of the land with stones. And it came to pass in the morning when the meat offering was offered, that behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled with water. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless this reading. Uh, amen. We can see from here, the, the story is all about the king of um, Israel, whom the king of Moab, uh, what they call rebelled against, and there were some allo allotted goods and other things that were supposed to, or some, some things like tasks that were supposed to be paid. And because of, uh, because of the rebellion, he did not pay it anymore. So the king of Israel called the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, and also the king of Edom to accompany him to fight against Edom to bring them back under his control. And as they were going, they got to a place where there was no water. And got no water for them to drink for their cattle. That means that it was disaster for them. So they wanted to find out. And Jehoshaphat, who was somebody who feared the Lord and said the Lord, asked if there's no prophet of God around because they knew that prophet give direction. If the prophet say go, they will go. If they say don't go, they will not go. And uh, thank God that uh, people who understand the role of prophet use prophet because if you have a prophet in your church or around you, then you will see that you'll be saved because wherever you are going or whatever you do, God is going to give direction through them. And so when they went to him, that uh, this uh, king was not even what you call the prophet who was there was um, uh, Elisha. And they mentioned him that this is the man of God that was around. So they went to him. And because um, the king of Israel was serving idols and um, rebelling against God, Elisha did not want to see him. But to reverence the man of God who served him, that was Jehoshaphat. That is why he accepted them and then gave them direction. He told them that he was going to give them what the word of the Lord is saying. But before then, he said that they should bring a minstrel. It's an instrument, a string instrument that was brought and then they used. And in the course of the playing of this instrument, the Bible said that the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. And then that is where he was able to give them the direction that they need to go. And they were told that there wasn't going to be rain so whatever wind or whatever, but they will see water. And what the prophet said came to pass as um, it was told them. So when they went, there was water for them. Actually, they defeated um, the Moabite king, but it went to a place that, um, they, uh, according, according to the rest of the scriptures we read, the Moabite king offered the highest sacrifice, which caused an indignation to Jehoshaphat, the king of Israel, and Edom, so that they left him because they would have destroyed him and the whole city completely. That is the word of the Lord that came to them, that they were going to destroy everything, overtake them. But when this man was, saw that he was not able to defeat them, he said that he slaughtered or he killed his firstborn son who was supposed to reign before him. And that kind of high sacrifice that he offered he knew spiritual things that when it gets to the worst, sacrifices can do. So that is what he used to save himself. But I'm not talking about sacrifices now. What we want to talk about, what brought the hand of the Lord over Elisha for him to give them the direction. And that was ministry. That's That is what music. So music is a portal that opens the gateway or a portal that is a, a way through from the natural realm to the spiritual realm so that spirits can traffic. So when that minstrel was played, what came was that the presence of the Lord came and he was able to give to them. This is where we see the power of music. When we go to our churches, before the message comes, we see that um, the whole congregation gets into a place 
of praise and worship. And uh, when the presence of God comes, we, we see that it has effect or impact on us. We praise, we dance, we worship, and God's presence fills the whole place. And sometimes in such atmosphere that is conducive, the Spirit of God moves and brings healing, and many things happen in such atmosphere. And then uh, other things will be done, and sometimes before the man of God will even minister, they will give something like a solo. These songs are also anointed songs, that also brings the presence of God to the scene so that the message can flow just like that. It prepares the grounds. So we see how powerful music is when it comes to um, man or the soul. It has something to do with us. It has something to do with us and spirits that is between God or between the devil. That is what we have to understand. So we have to know the kind of music that we have to choose to hear. Because a music alone can destroy a person, and the music can lift up and then build a person. It's very, very important. We have to understand. So, as I said, the minister is um, an issue, a, a, a stringed instrument. And when we want to define the music, everybody knows what music is. We enjoy it. Whenever music is being played, we tap our legs. Say it says a vocal or instrumental sound, or both combined in such a way to produce uh, a, a beauty or a form, harmony and expression of emotion. So you see that when the music is being played, it sends some kind of impulses or some kind of signals into our system, which can move you in such a way that there's no uh, cables or anything connecting us to the music, but the music gets into us. And by the time you see, look at the person's feet, a person will be tapping the feet or maybe shaking the body or doing something in the according to the rhythm because the power of that music has something to do with us. That is where we have to understand that music has something to do. So when we look at um, uh, Psalm 22 verse 3, it says that, but thou art holy, O that inhabitant the praise of Israel. So we see that when praises, singing gospel music unto the Lord, lifting holy hands and exalting the name of God. When we begin to come to that level and to praise, you see that God comes in to take residence in it. God comes to inhabit. God comes in that atmosphere. So if we want to experience the presence of God, it is through music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we can also remember, the whole shepherd, when the other kings gathered to destroy them, when they fasted and prayed, the word of the Lord came to them. And when the word of the Lord came, the direction that was given to them, the Lord spoke them to the prophet and said that the battle was not theirs, but it is it was the Lord. So what they were, what they needed to do was just to stand and see the hand of the Lord move on their behalf. So what they did was that they organized a, a minstrel, a choir, the Levites all took their uh, trumpets and other things, and then they started singing. The Bible says that as they sang, started to sing and praise the Lord, the Lord laid ambushment and then destroyed all the hosts of the enemy. That it took days for them to collect the spoil. We see how music can uh, affect our atmosphere or to bring the presence of God down to be able to help us in time of even trouble. So in the time of Jehoshaphat, when they got in that situation, the Bible said that as they began to sing and praise, the portals of heavens were open, and it released the presence of God, which caused the enemy, the enemies to fight against themselves and to destroy themselves completely. This is the power of gospel music. Let me put it that way. Gospel music that is from heaven, music that is really ordained by God. But we have some songs that are carnal songs. They are not actually... This thing, but I'm talking about true um, spiritual song inspired by the Lord. Such a song, when you begin to sing it, it really brings some kind of peace in your spirit. It gives you some relaxation, even when you your the, uh, the situation that you are in is not all that uh, good. It can bring you joy in that aspect as well. So as we see that Satan is also a copyright, that is. What he also does, he uses the same thing. But if we know a little bit about uh, the 
the origin, the history of the Lucifer, who the Bible described him to be Satan, the old serpent. He has a lot of names. He was called Lucifer, the son of the morning. He was created a, one of the most beautiful creations of, the, of God. And he was uh, created with, what do you call it, um, all kinds of um, pearls and uh, beautiful stones, jewel, all kinds of um, this thing. And then with, with the kind of beauty that he held, beside that, the Bible says he was anointed cherub. He, was, had, he had another office. And then he was also created with, the, uh, with that um, ability or grace for music. So in the area of music, he was very good. And as most um, theologians and preachers say, he was the choir director in heaven. He was directing the music at the same time there and was a king on earth. But that is not our discussion for now. But the area of his music that he had, he could, the, inside him came those songs. And that was what he used to bless the Lord. But when he corrupted himself and then sinned against God and he fell and then he was cast down, everything was corrupted. So every music, he still produces music, but the music that comes from him is not the music that glorifies God. Most of the things that come, people use curse words and other things in this music and even blaspheme against the name of the Lord. But many people do not listen to all these songs. But all that they listen to is the rhythm, and they begin to dance. That means that they join Satan to speak against God. And many people do not know what it's all about. And this is the area that we have to really examine any kind of music that we hear, because it's not any all kind, any form of music that, because it's music, and sometimes even people uh, mention some few scriptures inside we will begin to say that it's a good music, so we will um, listen to it. So we have to know that demonic spirit, what do you call them, worldly music is backed by demonic spirit. Most of this music or songs, because the people who produce them are, are having some kind of partnership with the spirit in the underworld, they dedicate these songs to demons. So when these songs are playing, these demons are present. So when you go to places like the pubs and um, discos and all these grounds, and these songs are playing, these places are filled with demon, all kinds of demons. And many people do not know because we don't have eyes to see the realms of the spirit. We only look at the outward side, the entertainment and things that is going on. So many people, even born again believers, can say that, oh, let me go to the pub. I will only sit down, I will not drink any alcohol. I will, I'm not even going to that. But there are some areas that when you go, you might not have protection. But it's not any place that God will want his children to go, unless God is directing you to do something for the kingdom. Other than that, taking pleasure in such places is not advisable because you endanger yourself to demonic spirit because demons are there and when you get yourself in such an environment they can pollute your soul so this is where we have to understand that when we play gospel music for the presence of god come bible say that god dwells in the presence uh in in inhabits the praise of his people the same thing that when you play worldly music satan inhabits those songs and many people do not know there are demonic spirits of different sort and kinds that follow types of music, but we have different, different types of music. I remember I knew somebody who said he was a Rastafarian, and any time that he heard the music of Bob Marley being played, something uh, arouses inside him, and he has to go for his ganja and start smoking because of the music that comes, and then he will say he is very hard. You know, it is this music that manipulates him into that area. So he feels good when he hears the reggae music by Bob Marley. And when he begins to uh, listen to this music, he has to take something to smoke, you know. So you, know, you can see that it, the music that uh, was, he was hearing was not ordinary. Something was behind. But people enjoy this music 
without understanding the root where um, the music is coming. So the music itself has something to do with our soul. Besides the portal that it opens in the realms of the spirit, it opens the realms of the spirit in a positive way or negative way, where God's spirit is able to discern, to bless or deliver or does something for us. Or in other words, in the area where demonic spirit comes in, they also traffic coming to do other things. But beside that, it has something to do with our soul. And this is the important part that we have to understand so that we wouldn't allow the enemy to get us. If we can also remember Paul, the Bible said that Paul and Silas, they preached and then they were arrested, beaten because they cast out a demon from a young lady who had the spirit of divination. And when they cast this spirit out, they landed in prison because the owners of this lady uh, lost their gains, the money that they were having through the suicide. And the Bible says that they put the Paul and Silas in, a, in, in the inner prison, in a stock. And when they were there, as he said, at midnight hour, they prayed and they sang songs. Hallelujah. And as we all know, when they sang this song, the portals of heavens were open, and God descended into the prison place and brought amnesty. All their chains and everything was uh, loose. The gates and everything were open because there was something like an earthquake that shook the place. So when the jailer saw that the doors were open and all those, he thought maybe all the prisoners have run away. And it was Paul who said to him that they were all there. None has run, run away, so he shouldn't kill himself. He was ready to kill himself. And uh, what we see here is the power of praise. Um, gospel music, let me put it in another form, which when they sang, brought divine intervention for them in their situation. So when we find ourselves in some kind of situation, sometimes... We need to intercede in prayer. Sometimes we need to praise and dance. Sometimes God has a way of directing his people. In the case of Paul and Silas, they prayed, combination of prayer and then singing. And when they sang, they had am am amnesty. So that is what happened. So the enemy also does similar thing. When you go to places like Africa or the East, or even in the West side where People serve all kinds of deity. For them to invoke that those kind of spirit that they worship, it's also through music. They have the types of drummings that they play and some kind of dancing, and these demonic spirit will manifest. That is their type of music they play. They also sing songs, strange songs, and then these demons will begin to manifest in all types of uh, activities. So we can see the role that music plays. In, with, with us in our relationship with the underworld or the, the spirit world, either with God or with the um, normal spirit when it comes to the area of music. So we have to be very particular about music. As we listen to music, let us not say that it's just a sound that uh, gives some pleasure. So you begin to uh, listen and then you dance or play in your home. The type of music you play in your home the kind of result you have. Some people are able to get broken homes, marriages destroyed, and many things happen. And they don't know why such things happen, but they have not come to understand that sometimes the type of music they play in that house, that is one of the problems that they are having. Because when such songs are played, the spirit behind those this thing comes to take um, their residence in the place. And anything that they want to do, they can do. Because when you open your home for demons to come in, you can expect that Satan has not come to do anything good. The Bible says that he comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. So if you want to enjoy a good life, then you have to make sure you bring the presence of God. So I most of the time encourage people to um, avoid worldly music and then stick on to gospel music, anointed songs, songs that can lift the soul to bless the Lord. 
when you begin to play such song, it brings God's presence always down. So as you continue to uh, um, play this, sometimes there might be situations in the home or around you that you might not even know, but God will take care of, of that because of that presence, that portal that has been opened. So when that portal is open, there are also angelic trafficking. And you know that when angels are there, some of them are sent to protect. Some of them are sent to minister to you. Some of them are sent to do all kinds of things. So let us enjoy ourselves with praises and gospel music that will lift our soul or bless the name of the Lord rather than, um, what do you call it, that taking things that can bring problems to us. Research has made us understand that um, music has something to do with our soul. It says, some say it enhances our intelligence, improves mental focus, boosts the immune system, strengthens self-esteem, and increases confidence. It says music also reduces stress and lower, uh, lowers the blood pressure. But sometimes there are some kind of music that when you listen to it, it causes you to relax. It causes you to get some kind of relaxation, some peace of mind, especially when you are troubled. In other, uh, in other words, so most of the time, praise songs and other things, when it is sung, it brings joy to the person. It releases people from all kinds of things that um, happen. So the research people make us understand that it also improves memory and also aids um, towards, uh, what do you call it, inducing better and deeper sleep. It helps us to sleep. There are some people, when they want to sleep, they have to, Put some uh, cool music uh, there, and then through that, it will give them some kind of um, uh, calmness, and then they will sleep. So, you know, because of all these things, that's where we see that there is real power in music. So, when you play the type of good music, you will get the good result. If you play the wrong music, you'll get that result. So, that is what we have to be very, very careful about. Music has a lot to do. We have different kinds of music, and um, we have her story. That is something that is true. It happened. Our minister, the deliverance minister of God, was sharing where people were arrested because they went to smash other people's window early in the morning. They went to the discotheque, and then there was a concert that they went. It was a rock music concert. And when they came out, they were filled with violence, and they did harm, destroyed a lot of people's things. And when they were arrested and questioned, they couldn't give any reason. They, did, they, they were saying they didn't know what happened to them and caused them to do that. They were under the influence of the rock music. So not all kinds of music are very good for us. Sometimes they might sound very nice as you dance it, but what is behind it is only God who knows. So we encourage ourselves that let us always uh, uh, connect ourselves to good gospel music, which will help us and then open the door for us to be protected, to receive intervention from heaven, and to be able to bring us more closer to God. Because when you begin to sing and God's presence come, you can have a, 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 a what do you call it, um, real com commune or fellowship with the Lord when God is present in where you are. It makes the atmosphere conducive. So the atmosphere there will change. You have a different atmosphere. But if you play worldly music, it also brings demons, and the atmosphere there will be demonic. And people have suffered many things in that. Songs are so powerful that sometimes there are some types of songs that when you begin to listen to them, it can get into your imagination and take you back to many years. Things that the time that you were young, some of the things that you did, it can take you back to, to your history, your past. For you to begin to see things, there are some songs that when you sing or you begin to listen to them, what the song does is that it causes some kind of uh, um, actions to arouse in your system. For example, when people begin to listen to love songs, I'm not talking about gospel love songs, but worldly love songs, when they begin to listen to it, it tries to push them, especially the youth. And when they have them, what do you call, listening to all these kind of songs, 
something will draw them and they want to have some kind of relationship. So if the song is talking about something about kisses, they want to kiss. If the song is talking about something about sex, you see that it will drive them to go and do that sex thing that the song is saying. It leads people to immorality and many things. There are some songs that when you begin to listen to them, it arouses something inside you which can cause you to sin. There's a song that people used to sing or play. Uh, you can hear it from the FM by, um, what do you call it, uh, Marvin Gaye. It says sexual healing. When this song begins to play and people are, are dancing, something begins to um, erase the uh, things in the person. In the end, after the song has finished or when it is played in a, a disco, a pop or something, and somebody and their friends or maybe has a, a friends or dating somebody, in the end, what will happen? By the time they finish, something has happened. They would have had sexual intercourse because of the song that they listen. So songs carry some particular things that many people do not know. In Africa, when somebody dies, there's a kind of flute that is played. And people know that sound. The moment people hear that sound or music being played, they know that somebody is there because they carry messages actually. And that message can be any kind of message, a message to do good, a message to do bad. There are some songs that when a person sings, the, the, the song will bring you sorrow. It brings grief onto you, but people do not know. That song can cause you to be lonely, especially when you are living alone. It can cause, because they carry kinds of, they, they have an agenda to play in the system. But you might think that it is only the rhythm that is going. But beside the rhythm, some, sometimes we have even demonic rhythms that is played underneath that actual song. So when it is being played, it begins to spread or what you call to release that kind of um, atmosphere in that place. But because it is not something that the physical eye or the natural eye can see, it does harm, but many people do not know. They will begin to dance to the tune of the music. In the end, people will contact all kinds of spirit and they will get depression, they will get these people will be tormented. There are people who will go to the discos, dance and all that, and when they get home, they feel lonely and something come upon them and they want to even kill themselves because there's a spirit of suicide behind that kind of song. So when, after listening to it, this is what happened. Some kind of song, people listen to it, it makes them violence. It brings violence to them and they want to fight. Some kind of songs, when it is sung, we begin to listen to them. By the time you see, the person will be angry. Anger will fill the person. Some kind of song will cause pride to manifest in people's life. It, it carries a lot of things, depending on the agenda. So when you are playing songs that are not songs from the law, we have to be very, very careful. We have the many, many kinds of songs that I wouldn't be able to describe. Classical song, reggae. We have the high life. We have the Afrobeat and all those kind of things. The different kinds of rhythms, but let us see what it does. There were times that um, I don't know whether the, the, a song came where some kind of music came. I don't know whether it's Afrobeat or I can't remember very well. That you see people with their uh, hot pants and other things trying to show their ties. And this kind of song releases some kind of uh, enticement of, of what you call it, uh, immoral enticement. And when you begin to watch their video shows, it, it will cause a person to sin. It cause, it releases lust. But people do not know. They might think the song is so good and it's so nice and the beat is nice. So we, we, we have to be very careful. Sometimes when I go to places, especially functions, Christian functions, and I hear people playing uh, worldly music, I feel sad, actually. It, it, this is a, 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 a complete uh, um, understanding that the people who are playing or dancing those kind of teams have to uh, go into the world and to check their election. Uh, Timothy said that we should check if our election is sure. You have to know where you stand because you can't put one leg in, in, in outside the world and one leg inside. You have to check if your salvation is intact because uh, a person that is spirit filled and then you go and dance worldly music, which um, you, you, you don't know the source. Even the person who composed that song and sang it, you don't know whether it's a Christian or non-Christian. Because some of these people are 
uh, uh, people who belong to the occult. And there are songs and other things is backed by demons. So when you begin to dance them, what happens? You be, you contact the spirit that they have. But many people do not know. So we take it to be light, or we are in a party, we are in this. So um, it, though you see Christians gathered, but yet you will see uh, worldly music being played. And sometimes even artists is played. Pa some pastors can even dance some of this uh, worldly music. And I, I'm surprised to see when I see such things, so much surprise, you can see people dancing this worldly music. And when a minister dances it, how will a member do? A member might think that it is all right to do. So we also have to check ourselves, every one of us, so that um, we begin to um, de put demarcation between the kind of songs we hear. Because if we want to be witnesses for the Lord, everything has to be something connected with the kingdom. Because we cannot in entertain the kingdom of darkness in our homes, use it as an entertainment or in our functions. We have to stand for the Lord. If you are for God, you are for God. If you are for the devil, you know you are for the devil. The Bible says that you cannot be lukewarm. If you are hot, be hot. If you are cold, if be cold. If you are lukewarm, I will spill you out of my mouth. That's what the Lord said. And that is what many people are doing when it comes to the area of music. We have to be very careful about because uh, the, many people contact spirit and they get themselves entangled in different, different kind of stuff. Many can get themselves entangled through addiction because of just music that they listen to. And it, it can lead them to all kinds of stuff. So these are areas that we have to be very, very, very careful with the type of music we hear. And the people who sing those songs, even in the Christian world, if the person is not anointed and he sings the song, when you ask the exclusive person, when you listen to those songs, they are very dry. They look like just something for entertainment. But when somebody who is really anointed, prayerful, sing songs that are from heaven, that song, the moment you begin to sing, something will cause your hand to be lifted to worship the Lord. And it will bring the presence of God. That is, you see that this song is anointed. God wants us to saturate our spirit souls with songs of heaven, anointed songs, so that he can be present to help us. When Elisha prays with the minstrel, when the minstrel was played, he said the spirit of the hand of the Lord came upon him. That's why he was able to release the word of God. If we want to hear from God, we have to connect ourselves with songs from heaven. Hallelujah. Because God himself enjoys songs. The Bible says he dwells in, 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 he habits the praise of his people. So sometimes there are some issues that we have when we pray. God will send angels. But when you begin to praise and worship, sing songs unto the Lord, he himself comes, not even angels. So you can understand the power of music, what it can do unto us. And beside the opening of the portal, it has something to do with us. Because that's what I was saying, that some songs can bring a person into the bondage of addiction, any kind of addiction. Because there are spirits behind that will cause you, as the person is uh, listening to that music, there are times it can cause the person to be a drunkard. He will say, oh, let me sip a little beer because I feel this thing. The music goes on. By the time the person sees his booze, the music will lead that person to um, drink and drink and drink. And then you see the person become a drunkard and then the person will be addicted to drinking. Some people are addicted to some drugs and all those kind of things because it will make them high. And they will be sitting down there. As they sit there, they will not sit there quietly. The Bam's music will be going on. And the music that is going on is not gospel, you know. It will be this worldly music. So he, he begin to pour, um, what do you call it? Um, Petrol into fire. He invite more demons onto himself as this music is playing. You see, so we have to be very careful. It, it also brings demonic oppression when we begin to listen to such songs, afflictions and all sorts. It has something to do with our soul. So anything that you see happening inside you, sometimes it can bring anger. Sometimes it can bring suicidal thoughts. Some songs can lead you in that area. Some songs can make you feel lonely. Some songs can make you feel as if you are loved, and it can bring a person to a state of um, 
pride or maybe self high self esteem or low self esteem. These sons can do all these kind of things, especially um, worldly son. It can bring that sort of murder into a person. It can bring marital problems when you begin to play in your home. You invite demons into your homes, and when demons are there, what will happen? They will bring every kind of thing to break the marriage, to destroy that home. When such means, because the atmosphere has been open, the portals have been open to the demonic uh, uh, um, uh, realms, and they are the ones who will come in because of the type of music you play. But when you begin to play gospel music from above, you will have angelic visitation. Angels of God will be ministering. Good things will be happening. So let us be very careful with those songs. Some of the effect are rejection. Some people will feel rejected. It brings all kinds of stuff. Hatred comes in. Some people listen to, you know, music that we hear, they are just like preaching. Most, most of them carry some kind of message. And when people begin to listen to uh, these songs, they follow what the thing is saying, and then they agree with the singer, and then they begin to propagate that thing. I remember there were, in the years ago, there was a song that uh, people used to play. That, that person that was talking about that, when he listened to the song of Bob Marley, he began to, uh, what do you call it, um, smoke and this thing, and then he goes, he says he's high. When anytime they are playing a song, they say, legalized marriage John and they say who 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 he liked that song you see his aim was that they would legalize this kind of thing so that everybody will be smoking it and it is like a message that is being passed across and people who smoke it support that song so but, uh, even politicians sometimes my let them um, uh, make uh, this musician artist uh, create some song for them for them to sing so that as people begin to sing it, it becomes popular, they become popular in the system and the people will vote for them. That is the power of music. Politicians use it in area of pro 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 making propaganda for them to win uh, their elections and other things. So if you are a child of God and you enjoy worldly music, I want you to check your life very well. Check your Christianity, your spirituality, if you are really on the right track. Because I don't believe that you can be on the lost side and at the same time be on the side of the enemy to enjoy his music. You can't eat the devil's food and live in the kingdom. The Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but by everywhere that proceeds out of the mouth of God. If you're on God's side, be on the side of the Lord. But if you have gone anywhere, sometimes there might be some challenges that you might be going through. These challenges, sometimes people can get sick in some particular area. But the sickness might have come through the wrong music that the person was listening. So that is what has brought the problem, but they might not know. They might blame some other things. But because of that wrong music, the doors are open. So in the time that we are in, that a lot of youth people are trying to uh, use this kind of, especially the enemy trying to deceive them by singing wrong songs, putting some scriptures inside. They think it is gospel and they will sing and then dance all kinds of dance. I pray that God will deliver us all and our, our youth from entering into this kind of trap that the enemy uses. Let us not be deceived because Satan doesn't give anything for free. If you begin to play the worldly music, the portal is open and there will be demonic trafficking in your home or in your car as you are playing, wherever you are playing it. They will come in because you are calling them. And when they come in, they can project things into your soul. And you know how music has effect on the soul. It can cause you to do things that you don't want. Your emotional aspect of life will change. They can cause you to be angry. They can cause you to do some certain things that you don't want to do. And it is all through this kind of music. But when you um, play the right music, you have the right atmosphere. God himself will be there. God will protect and deliver you. God will come to wherever you are. His presence will be with you. So I want to encourage all of us. Let us get ourselves addicted to gospel music. Anointed gospel, not ordinary gospel. Because some gospel music are dry. Get the ones that are anointed. Look for people who are really anointed. And then called. And their song play them. And see the difference that you have. 
Hallelujah. And you will see that music also has a, a, a role to play in the Christian life. So we have to be very careful. We don't get ourselves deceived with any kind of music that we hear. We are going to pray. The Lord promised us that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. That's for Obadiah 117. So if you have found yourself loving and liking worldly music, then what you can do to save yourself is to repent. You need repentance. And then change. Make sure the type of music that you are listening to conform to the principle and standard of the kingdom. That is God-ordained songs. Hallelujah. Repent from that old lifestyle. And don't entertain yourself with worldly music, but entertain yourself with gospel music, music that is from heaven. You surrender your life to the Lord if you have not done so. And the Lord will intervene in your situation. You accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And as you do that, the Lord himself will come into your life and systemize everything, put things in order. Because the songs that we even listed, because when it enters into uh, our uh, ear gates and enters our soul, it is like something that is registered. It takes the spirit of the Lord to erase certain things from us. Because what you listen to is what forms you. Because our we, we grow by information, our soul. So whatever gets in, that is what we build. They become, some of them become strongholds in us. And these are some of the things that if we get the truth, we have to make sure we cast these worldly things down from our lives, which become strongholds so that we'll be able to serve the Lord well. I want us to pray. As you are going to pray, I will, it probably you have, have been someone who has been enjoying worldly music. If you are not the, the type that enjoy when you praise God, you thank God for your life. But those who have entangled ourselves with worldly music, though sometimes some might say, I'm not going to the disco, I'm not going to the pop, but you still play it, it's on your phone, you enjoy it in your home and all kind of thing. I want to, I want to encourage you to repent. Ask God to forgive you and delete all this worldly music from this worldly artist from your phone, from your uh, player system and other things and get yourself addicted to the things of God. We are in a time that um, the time of the Lord's coming is so close. So we are praying that by every means the Lord will help all of us to adjust our ways, to come into divine alignment so that when the Lord comes, we will not be disappointed. Hallelujah. Because it will be very disappointing that you'll be in the house of God and then when the Lord comes, he will say, I don't know you. That is something that will be very disappointing. And I pray that that will not be your portion. We are going to pray. Because when it comes to uh, the kingdom, there, there are principles and regulations that are laid down. You can't bring in anything. But when you are born again, you have to adjust. That is why the Lord helps us to grow spiritually. And as we grow, a lot of things are removed from our lives. Our old man, our old nature is removed. And the new man is put in. The Bible encourages us that we sing songs and hymns unto one another. He didn't say we should go for Afrobeat, the worldly ones. That is not what God is talking about. If you read Colossians, it encourages us with psalms, hymns, and all those things that a believer is supposed to um, build himself up on. So let us pray and ask forgiveness from the Lord wherever we have enjoyed or maybe get ourselves used to and addicted to this music and pray that the Lord will deliver us from such um, music and then whatever it has caused. Sometimes it causes a lot of depression, anxiety, and all those kind of things in a person, in a person's mind. Fear is also even part of it. There are some songs that you uh, listen to those songs. In the end, it will release fear into you. You'll be going somewhere, and even if the, the place is becoming dark, you will fear. Why? Because of the song that you listen. That is what has released fear into you. And so, as we pray, we'll go by this prayer and break any power behind them. And as we pray, I believe that the Lord will set you free. He will set your home free. And then the Lord will bring blessing and empowerment once again to restore you. 
so that from this time going, you are get yourself addicted to anointed gospel music. Hallelujah. I want us to begin to thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord for his goodness, for his mercies. Hallelujah. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Say la carabo santa. Begin to thank God. She pralaka. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are worthy to be praised. Lay shadakara lori embrokali suta haisha. Mezita suli bre andikena suta ha. Jeto saprakata sindeli kara do hosto. Shedo ki bre alarbo santa yaka sait ha. No shayda kandoria. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray this prayer with me as we pray it through. And I believe that the Lord will help you out. If even you are not listening before and you listen to some that has brought a stronghold into your life, I believe that God will bring deliverance to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer. I confess every sin that may have introduced anxiety, depression into my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for your mercy. Begin to pray. Ask for mercy and ask for forgiveness. Father, we confess. We are very sorry that it happened that way. If it was out of ignorance, forgive us all where we have it caused the enemy to bring anxiety and depression into our lives through this worldly music. Have mercy on us. Shati li kratoria. Rakota sunda li karabuna brikanda si ta ikada saitos. Je kapara no ramanda si te kaliato handa suta. In the name of Jesus. She tara kabasunta. Thank you, Lord. Rabakata sita. Ne kasuta barakado santo haita. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, pray this prayer with me. Every power, speaking failure into my life, to bring me into depression and anxiety, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray and cause every power, speaking failure, to you and bringing depression and anxiety, command it to die. Father, we destroy, we bind, we cast out in the name of Jesus, every power speaking failure and bringing depression and anxiety in the lives of your people. We come against that spirit in the name of Jesus. Shili Karabura Makarasita, Jekuta Pasin Dali Karado Saita, in the name of Jesus, we bind you, we bind you, we bind and cast you out. In the name of Jesus, Shata Katuli Brakanda Suli Briakata Saita, Jikete Kudi Lakura Masinta Likaro da Haida Sunta. In the name of Jesus, they carry the Haido Saita. In Jesus' name, we cast out depression, we cast out anxiety. In the name of Jesus, Shili Kadar Kurava Sinta. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I want to pray for somebody right now. The Lord is showing me something. I see a road, and in the road, they have put about three barriers on this road. So that this person who is traveling on this road will meet these three barriers and might not be able to make his journey through. But God is making a way for you, but the enemy is bringing a hindrance. Paul said that a great door has been opened unto me, but there are adversaries. The adversaries stand as a hindrance to uh, block you from uh, entering into your um, promised land or your inheritance. We want to pray. Father, I take authority against every hindering spirit. I command the fire of God to consume these roadblocks that have been placed in the name of Jesus. Roadblock one, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Roadblock two, catch fire in the name of Jesus. You roadblock three, catch fire in Jesus' name. Let the whirlwind of the Lord carry you out and cast you into the abyss in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we declare the road clear. Mm -hmm. You said that you will cause mountains to be leveled, valleys to be filled, rough road to be made smooth, crooked paths to be made straight. Let this way be made straight for our dear uh, one that is facing this challenge in his, his or her life. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will possess your possession. 
you will get your promised land. Enjoy your inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's pray again this prayer. Every power sponsoring depression in my state of mind, die in Jesus' name. Begin to pray that any power sponsoring depression cause him to die. Marakoto Sukataya, you spirit behind the music, bringing a depression in that mind. We bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die. Rabakuta Sila Karia Dosta, Jetoka Bili Krata Suta, Meketika Pratoria, Jekila Pranda Handa Siatus, in the name of Jesus, Shelia Takaha, Janto Karabakuda Brande Kedasita. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord is showing me. I see many people being um, set free from the bondage through this through the worldly music. It's like something like a cave that has there's an opening, and many are coming out from that kind of bondage, that kind of thing. Many are running out through that end entrance that has been made. Father, we decree and declare total deliverance for your people in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare freedom for them. Mm -hmm. We command every change to be broken mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind any witchcraft spirit. I bind this kind of witchcraft spirit, manipulating spirit that has led people into this captivity. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mata si kata suta barikada sita, le kata suli brakanda saita. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I want you to pray this prayer. I release myself from every shackles of guilt and sadness in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Release yourself from any guilt and sadness because this will bring all this into the person's mind. Sometimes as you listen to some kind of music, it will take you back to your old ways. And then you forget that you have been born again and even forgiven by your sins. It can bring sorrow. It can bring grief and all kinds of, begin to pray and bind every spirit, every power that is bringing sadness, any shackles of guilt around you, begin to cast them out. In the name of Jesus, Father, we cast them. Makatasuta kariadoria. We bind any form of sadness, any form of grief, any form of disappointment. We bind them. We cast them out. Every shackles of guilt, we destroy them in the name of Jesus. Mezuta sita kina suta, le da sute kirabare lorbo sindria, jakata kata kaya kari dar kar korobo shin de krituria. In the name of Jesus, shakata kuse brula riyamakada shanta. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I want you to pray this prayer with me. <laughs> you power of heaviness, I break your hold over my emotions. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray against that spirit of heaviness. The Bible says that he has removed that spirit of heaviness from us. Begin to break its power. We break every power of heaviness. We break your hold over the emotions of your people. In the name of Jesus, we destroy your manipulation activities. We put on the garment of praise and joy. In the name of Jesus, Rakatos Apileta. Spirit of heaviness, your power is broken. Your power is broken in the name of Jesus. Shata kusa pili krataria doria, medekisa kunta makiatus, rabako ta sindali karatus yanda, makasuta, brati kupu sindria karidai kambosaita. I bind any suicide spirit. I bind any suicide spirit. Makaturia karataia kasanda. Any form of suicidal thought that is taking place in the minds of your people, we cast that thought out through those musics in the name of Jesus. We release peace and life for them 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I see a wound under somebody's feet. There's a wound in some on, on, under the feet where you walk. There's a wound. I pray, I rebuke that wound and I declare your leg healed, whoever it is. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Receive total healing under your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that wound be healed in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Marakoto Suta. Sheka Barata Sintakaya. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray this prayer. Some of the songs can cause people to, it brings some fear in their lives. Fear of the unknown. They will begin to sit down and think, then what am I going to do because of such and such? Some of these songs are the songs that can that sponsor those kind of fear. Pray this prayer with me. I come against every fear of the unknown that is sponsoring anxiety in my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray right now. Begin to pray. Destroy every power. That sponsors fear of the unknown. Malika Taya, we bind you and we cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Shata Kasudia Kardasuntaya. Mande Ketes Korea Kasintaya. Epakarasun to Korea. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rakataku Santoria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this prayer once again with me. Every power of failure, errors, and mistakes that is bringing. Depression into my life be wiped out and corrected by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Father, we pray and erase errors, mistakes that brings depression, that bring oppression. We declare them corrected in the mighty name of Jesus. Makata kusatili kratoria, mezeka boria brakanda suta pradikana saita. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. We're going to pray this prayer. I put on the garment of praise. Instead of heaviness, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray and put on the garment of praise and declare that garment of heaviness out of your life. Begin to remove it and put on the garment of praise. Father, we pray as we decree and declare Every form of heaviness removed, and we put on the garment of praise in the name of Jesus. Shali Karadori Abakasaito, Rabakata Kaya Santa Quari del Coria, Zekete Kata, Akondoria del Bori Harakaroba de Shanta, Lakwata Kaya Kata Sikete de Kandoria Brakanda Sintikinaturia, Jikata Kata Kaya Kali Doko Robo Shindikinataya, Adelia Coria del Coria del Buria Barabarabarba Sandria. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shakata Kalidoria Kardora Bakandra Bushindria Taya, Meka Satakaya Sundoria Karasuta Maita, Le Shakataya Kalisuntuka. Father, I pray for your people. Let all burdens be removed from their life. Give your people peace and joy. Let every heaviness be removed. Let the suit of grief be broken from their lives. In the name of Jesus, we break every form of addiction through the music. We break every form of immorality through those music. In the name of Jesus, we break every power of suicide. In the name of Jesus, we pray for freedom for your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Santa Kayataya. The Lord is healing somebody's uh, right toe, finger. 
that's the right thumb. Then the fingernail, there's something wrong with that, and the Lord is healing. I can see healing taking place. It's like some part is dark and as if getting rotten or whatever it is on the nail side, but the Lord is working in that individual's life. God is touching your, your thumb. It is like a right thumb. The Lord is touching it. In the name of Jesus, be made whole and be healed. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for your people. Empower your people. Give your people hunger, Father, for rare anointed songs. And then cause them to hate worldly music, which will not uh, edify them spiritually. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, and we bless you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Father, we pray for anyone who is sick in any of their body, whether through affliction that the enemy brought through songs or whatever source. We stand right now in agreement. We declare the heavens open. I ask that the word of the Lord that carries healing reach wherever they are and touch their bodies from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. In the name of Jesus, be made whole. Be made whole and be healed. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Shada Korama Sinta. Jekatakaya Taya. Toria Karabos Andrea Taya. Be made whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. An evil tree has fallen. I can see an evil tree falling, uprooted from the ground. Somebody is free from a hindering power, from a witchcraft tree. That is a very big tree. It has been rooted, it has been broken. Somebody's burden has been lifted. God has delivered somebody from a, a kind of bondage. In the name of Jesus, Father, we establish this freedom. We establish this man miracle for good. We declare, we decree and declare that infirmity destroyed forever. In the name of Jesus, we establish the healing grace of God, the healing power of God. We establish it. Be made whole. We thank you and we bless you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is touching somebody's life. I can see that there's something like that. LG, LGTB flag somewhere like a scarf on somebody's window. The Lord is delivering you right now from that. In the name of Jesus, I break that power and I declare you release from that bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have been made whole. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor and adoration. Thank you for what you've done for your people. We pray, Father, wherever anyone also need any miracle, we pray for divine visitation right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, as they begin to sing, as they begin to praise, Father, visit them as you did in the time of Jehoshaphat. Intervene on their behalf right now in the name of Jesus and give them a living testimony that they can shout all about. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. I can see something like um, a fetish priest falling down. I know that God is destroying the works of darkness. The works of darkness. Somebody is being set free from a connection with um, a fetish priest. That priest has fallen. He has fallen. Whatever the person did, it is. I declare it destroyed. And I decree and I declare your total freedom right now. Whoever went there. Whose problem is from that source? You are being made whole and free in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you, Father, for taking over. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you have, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, as we have um, prayed, uh, as we have um, spoken about the type of music, if you have not taken Jesus, you will see that your love and your desire for worldly music will be very strong because if you are still living in the old nature, things like this will attract you or draw you. But when you are transformed, your desires and everything will be for the Lord and you will love gospel song, gospel music, and you will have to praise the Lord. So I want you to pray with me. 
If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the Lord is ready to save you from that your situation that you are in to bring you to a better place, to bring you to give you um, an expected life or end in your destiny, to give you hope. So I want you to pray this prayer with me, and as you pray, I believe that the Lord will touch you, and your life will never be the same. Pray like this, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your word. I come to you today as I am. I ask for your mercy and I ask for your forgiveness of my sins. Today, I ask that you come into my life. I confess that you are my Lord and my personal savior. I pray and ask that Lord help me to love you and to live for you now and the rest of my life. Thank you for hearing me in Jesus' name. I declare that I'm saved. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But I pray for these ones. I leave them before you. I ask for divine covering. I ask for insight for them. I ask for understanding as they read your word, enlighten them. As they pray, strengthen and empower them and draw them closer to you. Help them to grow in you, to become powerful men and women and disciples of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, so the day of your appearing, keep them in the power of your might. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, the Bible says that you've been born again. You are a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to get a Bible, build your Bible every day, and you will grow. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And then get connected to God through prayer. Pray, the Bible says we should pray with our season. As you begin to pray, God will minister unto you. We want to also be a help to you, so we want to encourage you to go to our website and then register yourself as a candidate of a disciple. We can send you materials to help you. There are also other materials that we have online which can be helpful for your growth. We have study materials. We have... Uh, a lot of faith books and other things, books of prayer, and many, many other interesting materials that will help you. So you look on the screen, and then you go to our website, and then get these things, and, and they will enhance your newfound faith, and you will become a disciple of the Lord. Thank you so much for being part of the Breakthrough Prayer Conference. The Lord richly bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, and the Lord give you peace. I pray for the coming week as I declare the, the gates of this week lifted and doors open. I pray that good things will come your way. Let the heavens be open unto you and let the blessings of God rest over your life. The Lord keep you from harm and from danger and from any evil programmed by the enemy in these wicked times. In the name of Jesus, I pray that let, the Lord will protect and keep you and the Lord provide for you from now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So by the grace of God, next week we're going to meet same day and same time. So we want you to share this video. We want you to um, share it to your page, share it to your, um, your, your groups and other things so that other people can learn a little and also pray. Thank you so much, and God bless you. See you by the grace of God next week, same day, and same time, hallelujah, this is Breakthrough Prayer Conference. Bye-bye.